All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. My yeah. boy C Jack over here That's with okay. his Seahawk colors. I didn't know there was. Oh, I went to Emerald City Comic Con. Comic Con. I, this. I didn't know there. Were... I just like the sweater. Okay, why can't I just like things? Forty Niners, baby. <laughs> I'm a I just like things. <laughs> anyway, so we just came back from seeing Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Dead seven, men. Eight, nine, Dead men. Five. Tell. Five. Uh, five. 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 That's five. And uh, <laughs> oh man, um, we got Johnny Depp and. Uh, he, you know what? I don't even care. Just go ahead and tell us who we had in there. Give me this thing. This guy. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. I'm not mad at George, you. George, you don't like it. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> so we got Orlando Bloom. We got Javier Bardem Bear. as our Bim. villain. Yes. Uh, we Jack have Kea Scudelario, uh, Jeffrey Rush, Brenton Thewaite. I'm obliterating his name. <laughs> uh, Kevin McNally. <clears throat> McNally. And I mean that's we pretty much what who you're gonna see. First two screen. names, the only <laughs> names you give a shit about. <laughs> oh, we, we got a we got a little bit of Kieran Ailey. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We, we got a we got a little <laughs> teeny little bit. Yeah, but if uh you I know, think they definitely didn't charge per uh, per dialogue on that one. Alright, I started on a positive note. <laughs> on a positive note. Positive I mean, note. What's your favorite? Is your favorite one out of all five? <clears throat> this isn't my favorite one. I definitely appreciated the movie though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and not my favorite one. I like part three, and that was like the last one I watched. <laughs> hmm. I think one is probably gonna do it for me. After a while, it's just kind of merging together, like Transformers. Three, yes. This is <laughs> yeah, like Transformers, um, except Transformers has more action in it. But yeah, I would say one. One and done. done. That's one it. One and done. <laughs> one and done. <laughs> this is definitely not my favorite franchise. I'm actually disappointed in Disney. Um, for even keep putting these out, uh, apparently it's even going to be even more. I don't see how that is. A yeah, there's plans for more. But yeah. um, so, what do you think about our villain? Oh, I love the villain. So let me say, like that villain, like in all his villainous roles, 007 and such, dope. <clears throat> Does a great job. All right, because I want to start off with something positive here, because I'm going to just trash. I'll it. have some positive <clears throat> things to say. So you're safe with me, guys. What do you think uh, about the villain? Uh, I love the villain. The villain was fun. I honestly, um, I guess the, the, on top of it, I didn't feel he definitely hasn't been the noted Pirates of the Caribbean villain for me. Mm-hmm. There's one noted villain that really still takes the cake for me, and he falls just underneath him, but I definitely appreciate this villain. Oh, what villain was mm-hmm. that? It is definitely Davy Jones. Ah, okay. By far, by far my favorite villain. He just, and the actor... Too much of a stage presence. Like he he played that character to a T. I loved that character and that that universe. Period. Right on. Interesting. I did like the villain here. I liked how he was kind of like teasing Jack Sparrow. Sparrow. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm not playing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And I'm a sword. Ding 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 ding. I like the makeup that they did. You know, he he yeah. he was actually he was a scary ghost. Like yeah. he was legitimately scary. Yeah, he seemed like someone who was out for revenge. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. No, he was wasn't all definite. goofy, <clears throat> yeah. and he, he, he seemed like he had a plan, he was going to do it. It's very sinister. I like what he brought to the movie. Yeah, yeah it's it's definitely. Definitely. It it definitely a great villain. Yeah, won't doubt that at all. How about the hero? Is there a hero? <laughs> <laughs> How about the I heroes? Think, I think that was the, the hard part <laughs> about it, and this is where I will come in, because it's really like definitely hard to kind of captivate this. I felt like there wasn't a leading character throughout the entire movie. That's what kind of mm-hmm. lost it a little bit for me. So you didn't feel like, usually there's a gateway to the movie. There's a character that leads you through the movie. And there was just so many different different story arcs going in this singular movie. And then there's closing of pages and reopening of pages. And it, it kind of it lost us a little bit. There was no one to take us through it. Oh, so. it lost us for sure. <laughs> yeah. Man, this is... Them the, more than me. I <laughs> fell asleep. But this is the only... And I do fall asleep in the beginning of the movie. What? <laughs> I looked over uh, like 15 minutes in and he's like... <laughs> but this is Wait, the only sorry. one. Hey, I, I, I'm not gonna knock you for it because I'm. I was like right there with you. I was laughing. I just have to, to chip in. I was laughing because you were asleep, and then I hear you go, ah! and then because someone died, and then you fell back asleep. <laughs> right. So this is the only movie where I actually hated um, that I fell asleep, or I know that I didn't hate that I fell asleep. <laughs> I was like, fuck. 
Yeah. I'm about to go. Because <laughs> it. it just it was irritating, like from the very beginning. He said he hated it. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hated that. I had to, I had to wake up. Yeah. I couldn't sleep anymore. <laughs> but Jack Sparrow, for me, man, he just kind of kills the whole thing. And yeah. and it might be just because I'm tired of seeing him do the same stuff over and over again. Yeah. He never actually yeah. develops as a character. No. He's always the same. I was gonna say that. You know, like like they. They, they split up the hero aspect, giving other people some screen time. Mm -hmm. And I was cool if it would have just followed, like, this new guy that was there and the new chick. But then, you know, Jack Sparrow comes in and they all unite. And, I mean, it was just, like, it, it was kind of clustered, really. It was definitely the comedic relief. Too much. He wasn't a primary character in this one. But he wasn't even <laughs> really that funny. funny to me. <laughs> I laughed at quite a bit. <laughs> I chuckled. I chuckled. Yeah, there, there, was, was a, there was a few moments that yeah, were I funny. Mean, that part where he's like, you never tell that to a woman. Like, yeah. Yeah, those parts were it definitely made me laugh. He, he, he had there was some quick liners, parts, yeah. but for the most part, he was. I didn't like how he was drunk and animated at the same time. Hmm. Yeah, he was like, like what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Pick a fucking emotion or pick a symptom or something. Yeah. I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he would do it out of nowhere, like for no reason. So to me, I think he is probably why I didn't like the movie. Everything else though, I liked like the scenery, I liked oh, yeah. the However, uh, you know, they did show him uh, young and they showed him in the trailer young. Okay, I liked him young. Yeah. Like, like, I did like him young. a little bit of his origin story almost. Yeah. Well, it it ex explains like all the attire that he wears. Like it's yeah. that, that was really cool. Like that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of things in this movie that I really appreciated. Yeah. That's definitely one of them. There are some things I appreciated. But I mean, I don't know where they lost focus on it because that was pretty cool and that didn't come until like halfway into the movie. <clears throat> yeah. Can I say this movie was super long? Super long. Super long. We got Way in, too long. We got in there at four twenty. Yeah. Um, we we started watching the movie at four forty, and then we got out of there probably about like seven, almost seven thirty. Yeah, yeah. We had to watch the after credit scene. Yes, after there's an insane. You have to watch it because yeah. it's got my mind all crazy, especially how they ended this movie. I'm like, I'm all looking up stuff right afterwards. To me, it diminishes the way they ended the movie. It but definitely tosses a wrench in the end. I'm like, what we did all this for? What, <laughs> what happened? Yeah. I won't spoil it for you, yeah. but it's just kind of like, mm, I thought it. we got rid of that. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, whatever. I mean, it just it just summed up the whole movie pretty much. Like, yep, the end credits sucked. So did the movie. <laughs> oh <my laughs> <God>. <laughs> the credits sucked. So did the movie. It was kind of sad because like we're, we're in there watching it, and he's like, "We're still in here." <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just got it was just irritating from the beginning. Yeah. And it was not believable. Now, I will say, and maybe if you're 11, 10, 11, 12, mm -hmm. you're into pirates, yeah. you're into adventure, maybe this will kind of like pique your interest. I was more into ninjas. But, <laughs> but maybe if kids are today into pirates, okay? They can't be drinking. It's Disney. Ninjas don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> but, so maybe it would appeal to you. Maybe Jack Sparrow for the fifth time being the exact same way would be something you want to see. I wish he would kind of progress in who he is. Like, okay, we got that the first time. He was a drunken bum of a pirate. <laughs> okay. But now as we keep going, he needs to progress. I mean, well, he's I think pretty this, much the hero. I think yeah. in this one, we lost, he lost his credibility for cleverness. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in the past movies, he was very witty, very clever, and managed to get out of tight situations in, in a very nice... It was, it was a clever way, so I appreciate it. It was character. clever. This time it was just... He was Like, I'm not kidding you. He was the, he was the side character he wasn't a primary he Schizo. was he was the yeah. sorry but he was the the jacks jackass of the entire team he he, he was a clumsy hero yeah. and he it was a clumsy he was he wasn't even a hero to be honest with you. he didn't really do anything i don't movie. like yeah. clumsy heroes yeah. you can't accomplish stuff on accident and no. it really bothers me <laughs> yeah and here's the thing i'm not i, I will definitely uh say that there, there's a couple things i want to toss out there good pars okay right? good, good pars, pars. Okay. let's go okay. it okay so bring good it back pars. We get some uh, some closing of the story between Orlando Bloom's character and Keira Knightley's character. So we get the closing of uh, Mr. William Turner, mm -hmm. um, and we get to we get. Uh, I really loved that. I was. Really I appreciate that. I, I loved that. Um, we got introduced to his son, which I feel like we we got a handshake from him, and he definitely shows his colors to be the William Turner son. Definitely, as far as his character oh, goes, gosh. how persevering he is, and. And how much of a pain in the ass he can be. Like, he can be a little bit... 
but I, I liked it. And then we got um, so, and then we get this new character. We get Karina Smith, and um, this is where the, the I thought I felt the plot thickened the most because I actually got more enhancement on a character that I really loved in the franchise, and that was Captain Barbosa. Yeah. He's been one at the beginning. He came back, and he definitely played a valid role, and he played a very valid role in this movie. And honestly, like I loved that story arc probably more than all of the other ones. And right below that I is the Orlando yeah. Blue. So there's a lot of different story arcs in here. But like I said, there's a couple. Of th there's a lot of things I really appreciated about this movie. And then there's this new island we get to go to. Yeah. And uh, it just, I that blew me away. Like that that whole idea, that concept of making an island. I wish look there was like more that. Of that. Was just, yeah, that was pretty brilliant. Like I, I like definitely that. loved that. So, um, it was just cool CGI. Yeah, it, it, it definitely was a CG fest, but <laughs> yeah, I still thought it was very party. Okay, I I think the overall thing with you know having these new characters meet with the previous ones, uh, it it was a second generation movie. You know, mm -hmm. it was to refresh this franchise that they have going on and come back with a whole new slew of movies. Yeah, you and know? I, I definitely think the next couple movies are going to be focused on the Turner family. It definitely seems like that's what's going to happen. Um, with uh, William Turner. Yeah, as long and, as there's uh, Jack in there, I'm going to not want to watch it. Yeah, I'm not sure, because, I mean, you know, Hit Jack... Hit the road, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Tagline for this movie. That's probably going to be on our little emblem yeah. there on the video. It's like, hit the road, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, like I said, there's very good things to take away from this movie. It's definitely a, 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 a relay of the foundation for a new set of movies, and it's going to bring back some, some memorable faces. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, I don't know if I would give it, because it's getting like a 27 on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't think I would give it a 27. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen. It's harsh. Seen. That's a harsh score. Very harsh. Yeah. But it's definitely, you know, I can I can understand. Yeah. No one was clapping at the end. There was some people. Okay, there was like two people clapping. That was them running away. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I do think that it was... I don't want to say it's a, a money grabber because there was a lot of effort put into it. Oh, yeah. The yeah. CGI was good. There were some good ideas. Like, they threw in some sharks. There yeah. were some good ideas. Mm -hmm. Jack just messed it all up, though. I didn't like his part with the sharks. But mm -hmm. um, they did put some effort into it. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't terrible. I won't say it was terrible. It's not terrible. It's not a terrible movie. But is it... Is it like a great movie that you would want to come back to? I think the hard part. What was to the say? budget? Because I'm sure that it wasn't worth the budget. <laughs> All right. We... I think the hard part to go for on this is the movie required Jack. He's the one person totally that did. brought everybody to the same quarters. Did it's, they require Jack? They, they, he's he was like start. He was the catalyst for his son. How did they write it and, in? And, because I thought they, they didn't need this Jack. Well, that was the main re that was the main reason for our villain. That was the main reason for one of our story arcs. That was the main reason for what <laughs> two hundred and thirty million. I can't even say it. I, I can't even say it because you know what? You give me that kind of a budget and don't squander it. You know, a lot of these movies, and that drives me nuts. You know, the the budget that you give these type of movies in Batman vs Superman, and you give us these like one off like. Pieces of garbage that just like, you know, they say like smoking, uh, like you waste, like you, you kill yourself or you shorten your lifespan by like an hour for every cigarette that you have. But I felt like I did that watching these movies, you know, it's like I shortened my lifespan. I can't get my life back because I just wasted it, you know, and and you, you just throw away two hundred and thirty dollars. I don't know if they're going to make that back, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there were a lot of people in the movie theater. Yeah. It so was, yeah. it is a money grabber per se, but they they did put effort into it. Like I said, I think what people are going to end up looking for is they're going to want those closings to the stories. There's so many people that love the romantic relationship between William Turner and Kieran Knightley's character. I, I'm spacing on her name right now, but there's gonna, I, there's going to be a ton of people. I guarantee you, they're going to be like they want to see know, that but, close. I know, but is it a it, was it, it worth two hours it, of my time? They didn't do it clever enough. It, it wasn't clever enough. Yeah. They just put one piece of, you know, event that rewrites everything. It, it reminded me of X-Men Days of Future Past, and everything leading up to that movie gets wiped out and they rebooted their franchise. I think like mm -hmm. what I think the reason why I didn't wasn't too that's not my favorite ending piece. The and my ending piece is the Barbo Barbosa story. Yes. Um I love that. I actually really I like was that. feeling that. I was definitely sitting in my seat and I was getting a little little stir pot crazy. I, I enjoyed that. But I think the reason why the whole Orlando Bloom Kira Knightley's piece didn't do it for me was because <clears> um I don't know if maybe Kira Knightley was just not into it, but <laughs> 
There was no dialogue. <laughs> and it's to me, it's like the fact that your husband came home and he's home for good now. Yeah. I'm sorry, but like I would have expected some super climactic, like some tears, oh my, like tears, like I miss you. I need like you know that whole connection thing. Yeah. I was like, oh, you're back. Let me give yeah. you a really solid hug, bro. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Let me give you a really solid hug, bro. Yeah, I was expecting the kiss. I wanted yeah, kissing, kissing, like I wanted that oh, emotion that she's had in some of the movies. Like, there's yeah. I watched some, of, I watched the movies. They get a recap, and there's a part where she's like holding him and, and touching him, and she's like, you can you can feel it in the acting, and this was just yeah. like. Hug. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I mean, and I, not to burst it for you guys, but that was kind uh, of. The, but I definitely really say burst. it's. It, yeah, she, it was. It was worth. I, I really appreciate the movie for the Barbosa. They didn't story. give her a word to say. Not, no. Not one. With how pivotal her character was, I mean, mm. she led a ship in one of the other <clears throat> movies, right? Like in part three. She is actually a pirate captain. She's, she's a captain. The, yeah. She's, she she is a captain. Or pirate, one of the pirate. Or she's the pirate king, actually. Sorry, my bad. She's yeah. the pirate king. And I think that nothing. they were just tired of doing these movies. Like I think she was. Okay, what if we put you in? The John Lee lines. Yeah. You just show up. Now you're talking. Look pretty. Yeah. And collect your check. Right. <laughs> like, ah, all right. Yeah. Do I have to kiss him? No. Well, no. Right. That's the thing. She didn't kiss him. I'm like, they didn't pay her enough. It's like, no, but you got to sleep with him. No, not like that. You just literally sleep with him. <laughs> In fact, we'll CG you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I think that it was as good as I thought it was before you guys said I had to watch it. I didn't want to go see it, but and I, but I thought that was going to make it better for me. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I don't want to see this shit. And then I'm like, oh, snap. Oh, all right. Yeah. But no, it was like, oh, this is exactly what I thought it would so be. So what you're yeah. saying is this is like the time that you guys made me go watch Batman vs. Oh, Superman. Geez. And I went in there with expectation of it sucking. And you we know, left and it still I sucked. I at least liked 45 minutes or an hour of Batman vs. Superman. This, I was bored. Right out the gate. <laughs> I, honestly, like it, 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 it wasn't an attention grabber enough for me. Like I saw the very beginning, and then I snooze a bit, and then it's back to Jack Sparrow antics, you know. Yeah. So if I had to rate it, um, I'm gonna give it a four, four out of ten. Um, I probably would never watch this again. I'm like, damn it, it's on cable again. <laughs> it's, it's not even like a, I'm, it's not even like a channel flipper type of. Watch. I want this spot with something else. <laughs> yeah, um, so I'm good on that movie. I'm not recommended. Not buying it on DVD. It's a hard, a hard for. Yeah, for me, it's going to be a hard pass for sure. Uh, there's so many other movies out there that you can see and probably get more comedic relief out of, like Baywatch or something else. Probably, I don't know. That's what I want to see. <laughs> But for me, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 rating because it's it's not a terrible movie like how the critics rated it, giving it like a 27, 20%. Um, and it, it, it's 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 a below average movie, so I can't give it a 5. So it's just right below that. So 4, four, four, four out of 10. Four? Yeah. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, 8! Yeah. <laughs> no, Jeez. I'm not going that high. Like... I definitely, like I said, I had I, there's things I appreciated about the movie. I definitely pulled some things. I think what makes it for me is it was definitely better than four for me because I didn't like four with with a, aside from uh, Penelope Cruz and Blackbeard just didn't live up the, to the expectation. I, I really wanted him to because he's one of my favorite pirates and I love pirate mythology. Period. But this piece was done well in some a lot of characters. Cinematically, it's great. Villain hero villain complex has definitely got it, but we were like very much lacking in the, in the villain complex. I just I'm gonna give it a six. And um, it's it's enough for me to enjoy it, and I, I'd probably sit down and put it on the background and watch it again. But I probably wouldn't advise you to go spend any more than maybe five bucks on it. Um, I would go see oh, it at a theater. Yeah, like man, if you really have to get time. a closing to some of these stories, I'd say I'd say go get it. What's like, more valuable to you, your time or your money? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're invested in all these other movies. Well, Let so. you know now. <laughs> don't don't spend your money. Yeah. You're suspect Transformers, so, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're right along with them. I can't wait for the new Transformers, though. I, I think know. it's going to be great. I'm uh, walking out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's got all Michael right. Bay's all over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, so that's our <laughs> that's our review. I am boy DeAnthony. Hold on. See Jack! And I see Jack over there. Please like, <laughs> share, subscribe, and comment. Now, we did get some people who disliked some of our last video or video on uh, Lowriders. Low Lowriders. Low if you didn't like something, tell us what you didn't like. Because I will I will respond back to you. Yeah, he will. You know what I would and do? He, he will press those keys really hard. Really hard. <laughs> really fast. Send. Thank you. In all caps. <laughs> okay? With exclamation marks and... 
<laughs> Asterisk just because. I'm just curious and an instigator. So. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, just let us know what you guys think, guys. All right, we're out, baby. Peace. Peace. Break room bits. Break yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> 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 I like that, though. That's so real. Fun. Exactly. That's fucked up. It doesn't matter what her name is. It doesn't matter what her name is, Rita. You're Rita. gonna take her Rudy Pooty ass. Down the Rudy Pooty. Karina.